Hey everybody, this is Gino Green. Follow me on Twitter at DGino Green. Here's your video recap of last night's Michigan 79 69 win over Illinois. Enjoy, guys. I think I was uncharacteristic in the first time out I caught it. I think I called it even when, when we had it. was a, I think it was a five point play that we came down. I forget what we did on it, but it became a five point play. And I just called timeout. I, I know it was a two on one lob, right? And then they hit a three at the other end, and it was. Um, so, no, I, I think we're getting better with that. And it, here, here's, here's the other thing is they, uh, the way that Illinois plays, you're not going to be able to run a lot of plays anyhow. you got to just get guys in formations and attack. And so, uh, as a result, I just, when we, did, when we did settle them down, I thought they got the message. And any, any other time that they got close, they got to look at Xavier and I got a, as good a point guard as there is in the country. Ryan, I think. Here's another guy with nine. Um, So much about the, what they do, I like and I enjoy watching. And, uh, uh, their balance is very good. Um, Xavier Simpson, in my opinion, is the MVP of the league to this point, uh, just simply because if you took him away from their team, uh, you saw what happened when they took him out. Uh, we got after pretty good. It was a real, really quick substitution. Uh, but. Uh, uh, I thought we played well enough defensively tonight. I was I was really impressed uh, with our guys' effort, our, our, our attentiveness to the scouting report. Uh, we turned them over 11 times in the first half. They turned it over eight and a half or nine a game. And uh, that's good enough to win. And the percentages were low. And uh, yeah, we had some inconsistencies on the offensive end that uh, uh, we started the game and you start down 11 to 2, whatever it was against uh, the second ranked team in the country battling uphill. Um, makes it difficult. But uh, I thought Io was uh, absolutely terrific tonight on both ends of the court. Uh, Bird Dog and Simpson, and then uh, offensively um, was great and made two spectacular plays with his blocks. But uh, um, And it was nice to see. Uh, see a few balls going again. Uh, we haven't had that, uh, but um, Kemper made one and Trey got going a little bit, and, and so it's a um, tough night. I love this team. It's a hurting locker room again. They're in there fighting. Their spirit is great. We're not seeing the results on the scoreboard that we want. Uh, but Is there more you go against a, a lot of great guards in your time? What, what makes Io DeSumo difficult to, to cover? Um, he was a really good player. Um, he's a confident player. You can tell by the, the shot selection. Um, so we were just trying to stay in front of him, trying to limit his touches in the second half, with him on the 19 points in the first half, and uh, just make sure we're in our gap principles. This is for either of you, but you guys are right here. You, you guys have taken care of the ball well all season, and then you come in tonight, and uh, Illinois kind of gives you guys some fits a little bit, causing you to turn the ball over. Just what about their defensive scheme made that troubling for you guys? Um, with their pressure, uh, with them pressuring, them, pressuring us, and um, their gap principles, it's going to be difficult for any team. Um, they try to wear you down. Um, they really make you um, tough mentally. So it's important that like in a game situation that you control the ball, pick the right path to your defender, and just find an open man. What would you earn playing the number two team in the country in that? <laughs> um, I feel like it's a big 10, so really the rankings don't mean anything because each and every night you play against uh, a, a good team. I mean, it was fun, but at the end of the day, like the ranking really didn't, didn't mean anything. But as we said, uh, ranking for us just doesn't mean anything. We play everything the same. <coughs> As hard as we can execute what coach tells us to do, um, that's our plan. It doesn't really matter who we play.